Welcome at Serona on IDS 2015. My name is Nadia Amor and I have the great pleasure of presenting our new Cydexis 4 imaging software to you today. Um, here we see our brand new Cydexis 4. Um, it's a complete redesign of, of the software we had before. Um, you see immediately it looks very different. It's a very new design. Um, the design has actually been adapted to our Cerex software. So we had a concept of leading you as a user through the software in terms of this face bar. So that was adapted for Cydexis 4 as well. So now we have that common look and feel in all our software and it's very easy to use here. Um, in that redesign, there's two very important points that were in the focus when we developed this new software. The first one is usability. We want users to have all the functionalities they need, but accessible in a very easy way. So that is the first important fact. The other part is with this at Access 4, you now have the possibility to work seamlessly in 2D and in 3D. So talking about the design here, we adapted the face bar, for example, from our Cerex software. So we took a look at that, and the Cerex software was very um, successful with the idea of really leading the user step-by-step step through the most important phases. So in Cerex 4, you see the start phase, then the patient management phase, the exposure to take new images, to bring new good images into the software, and then the examination as being one of the most central phases in the whole process, in the, in the imaging. And then depending on your actual workflow, you might have some kind of output, some export for referring dentists, for example. Starting here in the patient phase, you see the whole patient database that you have in your office, and you can select a patient. Very quickly, you get an overview of which patient you selected, you see all the patient details, Plus, you directly see the latest exposures of each image type. So, to proceed in the software, the navigation is very simple. You always find a kind of a next button in the lower right. So all you have to know to navigate through is use this next button here to continue. In this case, we see two of those buttons. We have one register the patient and go to exposure. That's the step you would take if you want to take a new image. On the other hand, you have the chance to register the patient and directly see all the existing images of that particular patient. So if I click here, that brings me to one of the newest and coolest features in our software, our timeline. In the timeline, as you see here, you see all the images of the patient in a chronological order, so you can scroll through the entire patient treatment history. So no long searching for the right images, and it doesn't matter if it's an intraoral, if it's a pan image, they're all there at one glance. So if I want to make a selection of those images, I just drag them and put them in the little basket down here. And you can see I can select any type. So now, for example, I have a collection of a pan, an extraoral 2D, intraoral, and a 3D scan. And the nice thing about the software, again, is the nice and easy navigation. The software automatically suggests the next appropriate step. So you don't have to know every little detail of the software. You just have to know that's where you continue, and it's that easy. So if I just leave out the 2D images you see here, that now, um, if I'm only having one 3D scan selected, the next step is automatically um, selected as open in 3D excellent. So that is one way of selecting the images. If you have done your selection before already and you would just like to continue with that selection of images, you can do that as well very quickly. You just go to the upper right and swap the timeline and now you're in the session. So now you can see all the different sessions that you've saved before and you can just select that and then continue where you last stopped with that particular patient. So now this session brings me to the examination phase. In the examination, I have all the possibilities I need to really focus on my diagnosis. And at the beginning, I promised that we have this seamless integration of 2D and 3D. 
And that is actually what we see here. On that screen, we see we're in the light box now. You see the intraoral, the pan, and the 3D scan. And what is really exciting about ZX-S4 now is this is true 3D. It's not a photo, it's not a snapshot, it's the complete 3D image. And just with a click, I can change the view, for example, to the actual slice. And then I can really navigate through the entire scan. So that is really unique. You won't find that anywhere else. That is very important. You can do the direct cross comparison, your 2D image, your 3D image. Then there's a lot of little improvements. Let me show you that in the example of the zoom. When I want to zoom into this pathology, I just bring the mouse cursor at the point of interest and quickly using the mouse wheel, zoom in here. The exact same navigation in the 2D image, bring the mouse cursor, zoom in, and now you can do the comparison and you can really see details that you could not see before in comparing a 2D to a 3D image seamlessly. So after you finish your diagnosis based on the x-ray images and you now want to start explaining to the patient for him to really understand what is his current situation, you might just want to use some of the photos that you've seen before in the timeline. For that, very simple again, no need to switch screens again to go back to different phases. Just open the gallery here on the left real quick, you see the timeline again, scroll through, find your photos of interest, quickly drag and drop and then you can that easily add your photo to the screen and seamlessly continue in your patient communication. This is the 2D, 3D um, compare in our light box. Then there's also additionally a dedicated workspace to do your 3D analysis in more detail. So if you just acquired a 3D scan and you would really like to go through, scroll through, and, and find all the findings that, that there might be in there. You can check here that screen. On that screen, you can focus on that one uh, 3D image. You see the 3D rendered up here. That's very nice for you to get a first overview for patient communication. Then on the left, on the upper side, you see the calculated pan image. So you get the panoramic. And on the bottom, you see the actual cross-sectional on the longitudinal slice. The nice thing also here is if you see this inspection window, very quickly I can move that over here, just do a double click, inspection window follows, and that directly shows you the important slices. If you're not in the right position, just use the inspection window and follow through the slices so you can see here how your focus point is very quickly adapted. You can do a similar thing here in the actual, if you just quickly want to see the other side, again, just a double click and it's that easy to work in 3D. So that's the 3D examination. And then there's one third very important news here in our ZX4, which is the compare. And as the name implies, the compare is really there for you to have a quick possibility to, for example, compare pre-post operation, to follow the treatment um, through time. So as before in the light box, we're working here with the full 3D scans. So you see, I can either use the 3D render and check the two different scenarios, pre-treatment, past the treatment. And since we're working full 3D again, you can change the view again, again, maybe the sagittal, and now check the whole image here. And you can see where, where the root was before, now it's extracted, and that's very, very simple to follow for you as a dentist, but especially also for the patients. Patients won't understand that. Dentists have been trained over years to learn how to read x-ray images. So even if it's really cumbersome, if you have to open one scan, close it, open the other one, that might be feasible um, for, for dentists in some way, but at least you will lose the patient in that, in that discussion. So here, when the patient sees that, you don't even have to talk a lot about this. And that is one of the best feedbacks we got from our early users of ZX4, that they said not only are they a lot faster in their clinical diagnosis, 
but they also save up to 50% of the time in their patient communication. So the consulting gets faster and at the same time more efficient. The case acceptance has gone up a lot because patients just understand better what you see in, in the images in your 2D, 3D intraoral image. With that, I would like to finish my walk through our new software, ZAccess 4. We saw some of the great new features we offer in, in the software and you're very welcome to visit our website, zerona.com, for more details to find out what else is awaiting you in our new product. And I would be happy to welcome you as one of the users of Sodexus 4.